What's up next then for the twins? Jacob and Evie Fright. There is our next mission. I think it was called Freedom of the Press. Looking forward to this. Advancing through with the story. Yeah, Freedom of the Press. Let's begin. It looks like we're going to Big Ben. Oh, blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, it looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Static will be weakened. Only, we are somewhat at a handicap. And, there. Yeah. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage, if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Oh yeah, we've got the grappling hook. Can't wait to use it. It's going to help out a lot as we traverse through the city of London. You really ought to be here by now. All right, I'm so, moving. Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. A phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> telephone. <laughs> How bizarre. It's anyway, a telephone. As earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the Static Telegraph Company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have had their lines sabotaged. And they have Just little means that. of finding any broken fuses, which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one needs a special government pass to get through the guards. Oh. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. Of course I'll repair the fuses. Can I just say this looks incredible. I haven't actually been here yet on the game. But oh my word. Just looking at it. Oh, it looks beautiful. Just this whole area of Westminster. Alright then, install the fuses without going below 30 metres in altitude. Okay, so it looks like we go right to the top. Just listen to that violin, that soundtrack. Right, rope launcher tutorial, press L1 to ascend to buildings from a ledge, press L1 to zip line while zip lining, control speed. So pretty simple then. Alright, let's do this. Let's get involved with Big Ben. Oh my god, we're going right to the top. This is awesome. Certainly gonna say, oh no, I don't want to go the traditional way. We've been given the rope launcher for a reason. We're going to use it. Go right to the top. Awesome. I believe they've uh, done these larger buildings as well to scale. And they've done such an incredible job from what I can see already of Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Right, so first fuse box is installed. I've always liked the way... Assassin's Creed, whenever they give you a new tool like the rope launcher, for example, they always work it around a mission like we're doing here at the moment. Lovely view. Sure is a lovely view. Bet it is in real life as well. It's not everyone that can go at that. Right. Just try and line this up. Look at the Thames, so busy. Hustle and bustle, people working here and there, and here's us on a zip line. So we can stop it mid descent, as you say. And here's the second fuse box. Done. 
Working away there, Eevee, looking so serious. Staric isn't going to be happy. All set. You can just see the smoke coming out there. You can you can almost smell the oh, it's fantastic. Just looking at those locations in the distance. I oh, just picked up a helix as well. Helix glitch. We're going all the way over there. Certainly saving a lot of time. Because can you just imagine if we didn't have the rope launcher now? Probably take me like 20 minutes to just get over there. And to climb up the building as well. I don't want to do a... Do I have to do a leap of faith? Can I not reach that building from here? Really? That's a bit annoying. That's going to come in so handy, this rope launcher. Because I believe when, you're, uh, when you stop midway as well, you can actually... Like, drop down on targets and assassinate them from the air. So you can manipulate it to, um, to your advantage, really. Up we go. It must be so strenuous trying to push yourself up this zip line. She makes it look so effortless, so easy. Imagine doing that in real life. And there we go. And that's the third one. He's going to be so happy. Alexander Graham Bell. What a chap. And he's going to be like our Assassin's Creed 2 Leonardo da Vinci. That where we go to it. him with like new ideas for him to build us things. I think. I mean he's already done that with the rope launcher. Maybe there'll be uh, some new other tools as well. Just look at this. Houses of Parliament. Incredible. You know what? I'm going to go... Wow, listen to the music, it's changed completely. I'm going to go to the top here. Just look at that. That is incredible, I'm getting goosebumps. There's Buckingham Palace over there. Oh, man. Alright, let's move. Let's get on with the mission. Let's go back and speak to Belle. So it looks like we can't use the rope launcher whilst actually hanging onto a building. Which is unfortunate, but here's what it is. We're going to have to go across here somehow. I mean, I like the rope launcher and everything, but I think when, when it comes to climbing some of these buildings like Big Ben, I think I'd rather... Um, go the more traditional way when it comes to Assassin's Creed. I like climbing things on these games. Can I not go up there now? Gotta get close to it. Just trying to get used to this rope launcher. Alright. Just seems so far away. Thames off into the distance. Ooh. It's not where I wanted to go. Oh my god, I've got stuck. At least I can do that though. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a few other videos as well. Just like free roaming. Instead of doing every video as a mission. I'm saying it's 2 o'clock there on the uh, the clock itself. Are we going to hear the, uh, the chimes? Is the bell actually going to go off? That would be awesome. see people moving around it's so cool um no I don't want to do a leap of faith just yet might give me the option to do it here from Big Ben oh my god can I just jump down please there we go I take it Bell is still in the same place he's just waiting for me isn't he yeah. He's there by the cart. Doesn't look like we're going to get to hear Big Ben chime off. Oh my god, no, I don't want to drop. No, 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 no. There we go. That would have been absolutely disastrous if that happened. 
Mission over. Alright, all's good. Let's go and have a chat then. Oh, for crying out loud. See what he's got to say. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works. What a character. What a guy. So he's come up with the smoke bomb as well. So we've got to go loot 200 metal components. Our side mission is to air assassinate a guard from a zip line. I'm sure I can try and involve the zip line a bit. We've got two locations to go to. You just imagine oh my that's gonna set them two off, isn't it? That are on the horse and cart. Can you just imagine like a modern day Assassin's Creed though? I mean, here we can see we're, we're travelling by horse and cart, but imagine, it'd just be like GTA almost, made by Ubisoft. Be interesting to see how they would go about that though. Where it would be set as well. What sort of cars would be involved. Will, will it be set in the future? Will they have their own sort of adaptation of the future? Like Call of Duty have done? That'd be interesting. Here we go then. Let's use the rope launcher. I know I could have gone up that way, but let's get onto the rooftops. Right, let's see what we got here. So we got a sniper, a lookout on the other rooftop over there. We got a helix over there, which I can go and grab as well. In a bit. So I wonder if I attach my zip line. There, here we go. We can probably. We slowly, slowly. Because we don't want to catch your attention. There we go. Done. Side mission complete. Or side objective, I should say. Now we just got to clear out the, the ground floor. We got some. Two bobbies on the beat over there as well. Got to be careful with them. We don't want the law enforcement on us. Let's go across here. Let's see what we got. So three around the crate. We got a brute. Maybe I can double assassinate these two if he gets closer. Or double assassinate these two. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Probably could have you know, I probably should have assassinated these two first. But I just want to try out the combat a bit more, try and get a bit more used to it. I know there's not too much to it. I need to get used to it. Oh. Gonna break his defense. Kick him in the balls. Yes. Moves so quickly. Ah, he's getting trapped up in that, that concrete bollard there. Nope. There we go. So that's a hundred metal. Sweet. There should be a hundred more in the other crate over there. Can I get that helix on the way? Ah, oh, I can't attach any. I wonder if I can get it. Screw it. I'll come back for it later. Let's get on with the mission. Let's get these components. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. What on earth is that? So we've got three guys around here. Guarding the box. Anyone over there? Could probably get a better look if I went around there, but I think there's only... I can easily take these suckers out. I just drop on one. Could maybe use my um, throwing knives. Might use one on this dude. Sneak around the corner. 
Oh, I've lost sight of him. I couldn't, ah, I couldn't target his head. That's a bit frustrating. Let's take out this dude. This woman, I should say. Oh, they're just dropping like flies. Boom. He's dead. And he's coming back this way. Lovely. That was nice. Oh, crafting. Craft new gear and tool upgrades in the inventory. And crafting menus. Find unique resources. And crafting plans in hidden chests. Income activities, especially robbing cargo from trains, carts, and boats, provide large amounts. Alright, so what do we have here? So we got a smoke bomb upgrade, which we can easily get for 50 quid. There is 100 metal though for that. We've got 344. Medium bullet pouch. 1,000 quid for that. Got plenty of money at the moment. Maybe a medium knife pouch could do that. Medicine pouch as well. They're the, like the three main things, or four. The throwing knife, the bullet pouch, the medicine. We'll go for the throwing knives first. Maybe the, the bullet pouch. Hmm. Or maybe medium knife pouch. I think that'll help us out because I, I've found myself using the, the throwing knives a lot more than the bullets itself. Oh god, we've got a brute coming this way. So we can access the crafting through the pause menu. What else do we have here? Upgrades. That's where we go. So, medium bullet pouch. Let's go for the smoke bomb as well. That's going to help out. That's only 50 quid. Has used the 100 metal though. That should see us for now. Can't upgrade that any further. Right. Okay. Well, we'll deal with this guy because he's about to see me. Is he? No, we might be able to sneak past him and just disappear. He'll come around the corner and be like, Huh, oh, where's she gone? That's just done. Right, we've got to get over to Bell's workshop then. Yes, I got the helix on the way back. Sweet. There's the two bobbies on the beat. I'm yet to hear any of the policemen yet blowing their whistle. So I know they did that a lot in the Victorian times. We'll have to try and get their attention or something. Try and attack someone just so I can hear them blow the whistle. Ah, Miss Fry! Uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, We've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you. Again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at any time. Sweet, freedom of the press completed, and I managed to get 100% on the challenges too.